following in the footsteps of Bravo's hit show, Top Chef, is an even sweeter competition. Top Chef Just Desserts. Being a pastry chef is not all fondant and frosting. Twelve of America's top pastry chefs battle it out to determine who really is the cherry on top. Pastry is this beautiful cross between art and science. Each episode, contestants face two challenges. I smell something burning. The first is a quick fire test of their basic abilities. The second is the elimination challenge. Don't think of it as a traditional food show. Pastry chef Johnny Uzzini serves as the show's head judge. Don't expect every challenge to end up as a dessert on a plate. You know, maybe there might be some fashion involved. You know, instead of actually serving their food on a plate, maybe they're serving it on a woman. And to put the icing on the cake, acclaimed chef Hubert Keller and Daily Candy's Danielle Kirillos round out the rest of the three judge panel, critiquing each contestant's delectable delights. And I think dessert is a really emotional experience. We all have childhood associations with dessert. You remember birthday cakes you loved. So it's not just, oh, that's chocolatey. It's kind of, dessert has to be satisfying on a lot of levels. All three were really great cupcakes, but unfortunately I can only choose one winner. Seth. I won the cupcake. When it comes to, to pastry, it's much more like a science. You're measuring everything. So you really don't really taste, I mean, if it's a fruit dessert, of course you want to make sure the fruit is ripe. Or, but when, the, when, when you have a great chocolate, you know if you follow the proportions, you're going to have it. The winner of the final challenge is judged to be the cream of the crop. They go home with $100,000, a new car, and they're featured in Food & Wine magazine. One and a half hours, one and a half hours. <laughs> what is going on over here? But if you can't take the heat, please, I'm doing it, I'm trying to get to it, I'm trying to get to the clock. Then you're told to get out of the kitchen. Go Oh. I think what's important is that final result. When you're layering things, when you're putting it together, you're putting a mousse and a texture, I think that's that final result when you're cutting and you put it in your mouth and, and you get the different nuances. I think that's the moment where you really can judge if it's right or wrong. And the winner is 30-year-old pastry chef Yigit Pura, beating out finalists Morgan and Danielle. The native of Turkey who moved to San Francisco at the age of 12 says he'll probably own his own store within the year, and he plans to do more TV appearances.